I mean, look, there are three basic countries that are playing a central role in what's unfolding in Ukraine. Ukraine, Russia, and China. China's kind of, you know, playing footsie, helping Russia, pretending not to be involved. But all three of those countries uh, have politically connected figures who have sent millions of dollars, in some cases tens of millions of dollars, to the Biden family. Uh, so you certainly have in Ukraine, uh, Burisma, the energy company, Hunter Biden got four to five million dollars from them. Uh, that energy company, one of the owners was a oligarch named Kolomoisky. Kolomoisky is the Ukrainian oligarch that put the current president Zelensky in power. He was his biggest backer. Look at Russia. We know that the uh, former mayor of Moscow's wife, who our State Department has linked to Russian organized crime, sent $3.5 million to Hunter Biden. And there are corporate records that indicate that Hunter Biden and his business partners were bragging that they were managing two to $300 million uh, of her money. Uh, and there's also evidence that Hunter Biden was looking to do business deals with pro-Putin oligarchs like Oleg Deripaska. Uh, and then, of course, you look to China, and there are a multitude of deals equaling $31 million. How Joe Biden, as president of the United States, is going to navigate that when all of those entities have leverage over his family uh, is unfolding before our eyes. And it's one of the reasons I think that you're seeing this sort of on-again, off-again policy uh, that he's pushing with regards to Ukraine. Peter, you talk about these millions of dollars with the Biden family. There are allegations that some of that actually went to Joe Biden. Can you prove that any of it did? Uh, yeah. If you look at the Hunter Biden laptop, there's a couple of things that stand out. Number one, uh, that Hunter Biden is paying some of his father's monthly bills while he's vice president of the United States. That should be enormously concerned. I mean, look.